When Ibrahim Traoré put thousands of strange animals into his new river, the whole world was confused. People didn't understand what he was doing. When people build rivers, they usually put fish in them. Some people add crocodiles to bring tourists. But Ibrahim Traoré did something nobody expected. He didn't put in crocodiles or fish. He chose an animal that most people think is just a pest that chews wood, the beaver. But why beavers? What was Ibrahim's real plan? How could these animals turn this river from just a tourist spot into a living, natural home for wildlife? We'll find out in today's video, so watch until the very end. If we look at what happened in Burkina Faso, we see a terrible problem that made millions of people suffer. No water. This problem hurt not just people, but also plants, animals, and even the soil. Whole villages dried up. People dug wells until they couldn't dig anymore. Women walked for miles to get water that was often dirty or gone by the time they got home. When children cried because they were thirsty, their mothers could only pray for help. People had to give up their homes, land, and even their children just to get one drink of water. Even the rain stopped coming, and nature seemed angry. But then a young leader named Ibrahim Traoré came. He didn't just make speeches, he took action. His biggest action was building a fake river. Yes, while everyone else only built dams and water tanks, Ibrahim thought differently. If rain wouldn't come naturally, why not make our own water system? With this idea, a huge project started. Workers dug canals for hundreds of miles. They made the land flat and built a big river to catch rainwater. At first, people were surprised. Some laughed at it. Others said it was a waste of money. But after the first year, the results made everyone quiet. Where plants used to die, green fields now grew. Farmers got hope again, and animals had clean water to drink. This fake river wasn't just for storing water. It became a sign of new life. Children who had never seen a river now played happily in the water. Farmers who used to only pray for rain could now water their crops themselves. Life got better. People started farming new land, and small shops opened nearby. The government called this project a people's revolution, and Ibrahim Traoré became like a hero to everyone. But every good thing has problems. And this river had problems too. At first, when water moved well, everything seemed natural. Water kept flowing. The ground soaked it up, and birds came to sing by the water. But as time went on, the water moved slower and slower. Mud, leaves, and trash piled up at the bottom. In some places, water stopped moving, which made lots of mosquitoes grow and made the water dirty to drink. Where crops used to grow well, the water started to smell bad. People complained that the water wasn't good anymore, and some stopped using it. Things got so bad that green slime started growing on parts of the river. This meant the water was getting very dirty. This was like an alarm bell ringing. If they didn't do something fast, this project that was supposed to help Burkina Faso could become a disaster. But here's where Ibrahim Traoré made another smart choice. It seemed simple, but had nature's deep wisdom behind it. First, he brought together the best water experts and engineers from his country. They talked for hours about what to do. He also looked at how other countries kept their rivers clean. Many countries had big machines, water pumps, and filters that cleaned dirty water. But these were very expensive, used lots of power, and hurt the environment. A poor country like Burkina Faso couldn't put a machine every few miles to clean the river. Then Ibrahim looked to nature again. He thought that if nature caused the problem, maybe nature also had the answer. He told his experts, we won't put more weight on the earth. We'll let the earth breathe. With this thinking, they started new research and finally found an animal that people had ignored for a long time, the beaver. Beavers are medium-sized animals that live in North America, Europe, and a few other places. People call them nature's engineers. These animals cut down trees near water and stack the wood to build natural dams. These dams don't just control water flow. They also clean water, remove dirt, make soil better, and create a whole water system. The magic of beavers is that wherever they live, life comes back. Ibrahim decided that instead of putting in expensive machines to clean the river, he would let beavers do it. This choice seemed weird to the world and funny to local people. They didn't know that these small, cute animals were actually some of the smartest and hardest working builders on earth. Just a few weeks after putting beavers near the river, they started their natural work without stopping, without being taught, without any help. 
they began chewing the soft trees growing by the river. They collected sticks and branches, mixed mud and grass to build dams, and in just one month, dozens of small natural dams were ready in the river. These dams made the water flow better, stopped water from sitting still, and slowly started cleaning out the dirt from underwater. A few weeks later, when experts tested the water, they couldn't believe it. Water that used to smell bad and look dirty was now clean, clear, and blue. Fish that were dying started coming back. Birds that had flown away came back to this natural place. And best of all, people started drinking from this river again, without any filters or machines. But it wasn't just the water that got better. Green plants started growing around the river. New grass grew, local plants came back, and everyone praised the beavers who worked quietly day and night. These animals stay away from people, never complain, don't ask for money, and don't use electricity. They just bring the river back to life, using their natural way of doing things. Today in Burkina Faso, schools teach kids about beavers. Pictures of them hang on walls, children hear stories about them, and the world sees this as a great example of success. This was when the whole world learned that if people become friends with nature, nature will never fight back. These beavers proved that the answers to people's biggest problems aren't just in machines, but in nature's secrets hidden in the earth. The change was amazing. In six months, what used to be dirty, still water became a healthy system that cleaned itself naturally. Scientists from around the world came to study what happened. Schools, sent research teams to understand how these simple animals did what million-dollar cleaning systems couldn't do. The beavers didn't just clean the water, they created a whole food chain. Their dams made water of different depths, giving homes to many types of fish. The slower water let dirt settle naturally, while good bacteria grew in the wooden structures. World environmental groups started calling it the Burkina Faso Miracle. Countries with similar dirty water problems sent people to study this natural solution. But maybe the most amazing part was how it helped the economy. The clean river brought ecotourists from all over West Africa. Local people started sustainable fishing. Farmers grew more crops because they had clean water for irrigation. Children who had never seen clear water learned to swim in the restored river. Old villagers said the river reminded them of when they were young before pollution changed everything. The beaver families grew bigger, creating a cycle that kept going. New baby beavers kept expanding the natural cleaning system, always maintaining and improving water quality without any human help or cost. Ibrahim Traoré's choice had done something never done before, solving an environmental problem through working with the environment instead of fighting it with technology. Today, the beaver model is being used in 12 African countries. International groups are paying for similar projects worldwide. What started as one man's unusual idea became a global movement toward using nature to solve human problems. The lesson was simple but deep. Sometimes the best technology is one that has existed for millions of years, waiting for people smart enough to see its power. This was our video for today. Tell us in the comments what you thought about this video and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this. Until the next video, take care.